Oscar, it's 50 degrees out. What's up, everybody, and welcome. We actually uh, got our coffee. Hope everybody had a good new year. We are on our way to the shop right now. I don't know what we're doing at the shop. Could be anything. Could be on the road. Could do something at the shop. I'm not sure. Safety first. Anyway, we mosey over to the shop here, and uh, I will see you there. Welcome aboard. We're actually uh, going to stay at the shop here. We have us a job to do, as you see on the uh, title there. We're going to do a Volvo Penta trim pump. So let's check out the boat and what we're doing real quick. So this is a 2013 28 Express. It's got low hours on it. I think it was a trade-in. I think it's already sold. Let's turn the batteries on. Let's see what's in it for power. Lift up our back hatch here. Go down our hole here. Looks like we get a 300 Volvo Penta. That's the older version. It's got the fuel rail, so it's a 5.7. We're gonna have to get to this wiring right here. We got a trim and tilt wire right here for the motor assembly, which we have on the back here. We got this brand new pump right here. Come with the lines and everything. Looks like it just seals to the transom assembly there. So I was just throwing in the mix here. I actually don't know why we're changing this. So let's uh, actually trim it up and down and see what it does. Well, I can see why we're changing it out now. So let's get started. Well, so let's see what we gotta do first. Looks like we have to get our lines off of here. In order to do that, we're gonna have to get these up of here. Well, we can pull these out and get to our line which is underneath here. Hopefully I can get something in here to get that one out because it's pretty close to our uh, drive here. And looking at our motor, looks like we just have 10 millimeter bolts to go all the way around it. Let's get these out first. Just got a cotter pin on the bottom here to pull up first. That's what holds this pin in right here. Same thing on this side here. Cotter pin going through. We'll put some new ones in when we get it back together. So it looks like instead of trying to fight, trying to get something in between this and this, we can actually just take off the ram. We'll pull that cotter pin down there and pull the ram completely off. This thing's just sitting by itself anyway, so we'll pull these off completely. That way we can get to the lines on each side. Try to get that cotter pin out from back there. Got it. There we go, now this is loose. We'll do the same to the other side. All right, first let's get these lines off. See what's inside of them. I guess there's probably water in them. That's why we have a uh, motor is bad. The noise it's making sounds like water intrusion. It's just Allen key, these should come right out. Got nothing in that one. I pulled the other side off. We got water coming out of it. My guess was right. Got water coming out of this one too. These guys might not be good if it had that much water in it. All right, now we got our lines off here completely. Let's unscrew our motor off here. Looks like there's about six 10 millimeter bolts here holding it in. Get these off and we'll see what it looks like on our, behind it here. All right, we got our bolts out. I think in order to get this out, we gotta go get our wiring from the other side. So let's go and unpin all of our wiring so we can slide it out the other side here. All right, come to our motor here. There we go, there's our main plug right there. Pull that through there. We're gonna undo these. And pull this little red piece out of the middle here. Try not to lose it, like I just did. Where you push 
push down a little tab inside there and you can pull these right out. There we go. Now we can push our wiring all the way through this hole to the transom assembly here. There we go. Now we'll see if we can pull it through the transom now. All right, we're free on the other end. We should be able to just yank these out with the wiring. It should slide right out of there. There it goes. Ooh, there we go. Now we got our pump completely out. All of our lines are pulled out. They all go up and around here. There's our hole for where the wiring goes right there. Let's get this out of here first. All right, before we install our new one, let's uh, clean off the old gasket marks here. All right, we're all cleaned up. Let's get our cables over the top here first. All of them go up and then down and around to the bottom. Got to go over the bellows first here. They're labeled too. We got green for starboard and red for port here. Make it easy so you know which side to go to for each one. All right, now we got our lines over the top. Let's get our wiring through the hole here. We got to pull it from the other side. Hopefully, I can find it back there. Should be easy. All right, we got our setup pretty close. Let's go to the other side and pull it. See if we can get it tighter in the into its hole here. All right, we got our wires here. We'll hook that up later when we get it all ready. So pull on it, make sure that it's good and tight. We go put our screws in there now. So now we just have uh, six bolts here. The bonding wire there. This bonding wire goes down there. So let me get all these on here. And then we'll hook our lines up. All right, so we got our bolts in. Everything's tight. We've got our lines fed around. And I'm coming out here. We're going to put these on temporarily. I want to see if they work because these could be bad still. I cleaned them out as much as I could. So we're going to try them first. All right, let's put our front line on first here. All right, there's one. Let's get our back line on here. All right, we've got our bottom line here. We're in. We're in here, put it back in our spots here when we're done. Let me get this other side on here and we'll bleed it. We'll see if it works. All right, so we got our port side on here. Starboard's on. Now, let's open our cap up here, which is on the motor right here. So we can fill it up with fluid here. Looks like she's pretty full. She's starting to leak out there. Now the moment of truth. Let's go push the button and see what it does. Looks like we're starting to move. Well, that's good news. Looks like our rams are okay here. Got no problems there. All right, let's run it up and down a few more times here. Make sure it's bled all the way out. Looks like our gauge is working. No more weird jerkiness or anything going on like it was before. You wanna make sure it's all the way down when you check the fluid. That's where we're gonna put the cap back on, make sure it's full on the down position. Well, it looks like everything is good here. I'm gonna just finish tying it up. Double check the fluid, it should be all good. That's it for this episode, and as always, I appreciate everybody watching, and I will see you next time. Later. Someone likes the Avengers. Hulk smash.